Okay. I am sitting at my computer desk right now with my MetaQuest 3, uh, which has pass-through, color pass-through, and this is a nice novelty that I can sort of see my keyboard and work on a screen at the same time. But the pass-through is not of high enough fidelity that you can actually make out a lot of what's going on on the screen. So here's the way you improve on this and drastically improve on it. It's a piece of software that a lot of people are using and I'm just getting to know and it's called Immersed. Uh, create a new boundary, please. Yeah, I'm going to need to go with this boundary here. This is the desk. There we go. So Immersed is a virtual workspace and it's meant for collaboration. It's also meant to enhance your desktop work. It's a real productivity app and it is pretty darn clever in how it works and I've discovered it also is an amazing community. There's a lot of people who rely on it day to day and use it instead of working in their own home in isolation uh, for remote work or working uh, in places like cafes where there is a little socialization. Here's one of the first things that it does to make life a little simpler. Uh, it gives you portals through a, from a virtual world into um, the real world. And right now my portal is a little out of whack, so I usually start this whole thing off by using its techniques to bring my keyboard and mouse into the environment. I can adjust it just a little bit. There, there's a good start to the whole thing. And as you recall, I had that monitor in front of me before. Well, this is the same monitor with some enhancements. I've actually got a an extra monitor. There, there are two, and maybe I can pass through if I double click the side of my headset. I can go back to the real world. Let me just get rid of this. There. My real world physical monitors are emulated in that virtual world, but with much better clarity where I can hardly read what the icons say there. If I go back into the immersed world, oh yeah, much better. And if I needed to, I could also, whoops, let me get rid of this for a second. I can also Mind you, I'm getting a little bit better. Get myself closer to those screens too. Make them as big as I need to. But you'll also notice not only do I have the monitor there. Now, I'm using the, the real world keyboard and mouse to affect the virtual screens that emulate the two screens that were on my, on my desktop. But I also have a third monitor over there. And in fact, way back there, I seem to also have a fourth monitor. Now, reaching to these things... It is a matter of getting used to it. You can use the, your controllers for more precision. I'm trying to get used to using my hands so that I can just seamlessly go from keyboard to virtual world and in a really natural fashion. And it's taken, taken me a little bit of practice, but I'm kind of getting there. So let's give this a try and see how well this works. <clears throat> and I want to restore my icons. Anything that I'm doing here is also happening in the real world through that pass-through. And speaking of the real world, you can also bring in or incorporate other parts of the real world in there. The interface is all in the palm of your hand, literally. Dismiss some messages that they're giving me. There we go. Um, I can bring up a menu, and one of the things I have on my desktop, too, is I also have a cup of tea over here. Well, you can make something called a portal, and you can move that portal around, so if you've got to keep track of other things that are going on in your real world, you can put little bubbles around them, something like that, so that it's possible. Yeah, right, I think that's going to do the job. Close that. Oh, good. So now I have a little portal. Wait, oh, it's actually moving it with it. I really didn't want to do that. How do I lock this thing? And there are other shapes that you can use besides this, rectangles and cubes as well. I'm not sure, quite sure what's going to happen there. I don't want to close the portal. I just don't want to affect it. Oh, to stop affecting things, you could, you could have various gestures. So doing this disables, should disable, yeah. my controls around here. So now I'm just inter interfacing with, I've, I've set the interface, the configuration is done, and now I can get back around to work. Ah, delicious. Um, anyway, you're getting the idea of how this world works. The other thing that's kind of neat about this and what I'd really like to explore <laughs> Yeah, sure, we'll accept whatever Bing wants. Is um, I'm not alone. I'm, I'm in a virtual world here right now, but there are other people floating around. Now, I believe it defaults to muting, but I could unmute and say hi to people that are in the environment. Oh, only one person right now. 
that too is something that I could be bringing up. I can see who is online or who's in the room, participants in this room. Oh, that's somebody frozen, I guess, because they're not showing up in the list. But you can also go visit some public rooms. Let's see what's popular right now. The cafe is usually quite popular. And this is an emulation of a real cafe <clears throat> where you might go and do some work in a public place. Without now, speak. Little glitch because we have somebody right in front of us because we're sitting in a seat that is sort of a spawn point. I think that might be a little bit of a glitch. So one of the first things we want to do is get ourselves over to a place where it's going to be a little more comfortable. There we go. And there's other people that are floating around in this room. This is the next thing that might be a real killer feature of this is this community. And it's a good community. Let me just hide those screens for a second. If you were working in a classroom, you might want to sit in a room where there are other people working on similar projects that you could help each other out, ask each other questions. And um, you could be doing that here. The rooms right now that they make available are separated by the environment. I would propose to the developers, and probably will because they have a Discord that apparently is quite active, that they could make rooms based on what applications people are using. If you were doing video editing work, it would be nice if you were sitting in a cafe with other people that were working on video, or programmers sitting with programmers, or whatever language people are using. So there's all sorts of potential for this. and would really like to see how it could be used as an educational tool and putting people together. It already is. People are relying on each other and helping each other through the, the environment. But anyway, I thought this would be a nice light introduction to it. Uh, it works really, really well. It's fairly stable and uh, the developers are constantly trying to improve it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I wind up learning in this immersed universe. Uh, it's, uh, it's comfortable. It's great. And it's kind of nice to have all these big virtual screens where, you know, if, even if you only have two screens on your desktop, that can be turned into, oh, there it is over there. It's many, many, many more screens. Does that make more sense to move this and move it here? <clears throat> yeah, I should move it over there. Intuitively, that makes more sense. You know, for the price of a monitor, um, you could uh, you could easily set yourself up with a headset, a VR headset, and they're getting so much more comfortable. That's the other thing. This group is developing a vi what they call the visor, which is going to be a very lightweight, six degrees of freedom headset, so that you can work comfortably for hours in an environment such as this. And that's going to be kind of neat too. I should also mention this application is free, uh, has an has a free starter package, which is absolutely functional, but. To step up into the pro levels, you're only paying $5 a month, which is um, very fair as far as I'm concerned. And many of the people that are working here are working here on the daily. This is their workspace and they're uh, subscribed. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very, very vibrant community. I'm looking forward to exploring it more. That's it. Hope this gives you some ideas of how this could be used. Um, I'll put another video together and show a little bit of virtual video editing next time I come in. Oh, let's interface back here.